Hi guys, this is Nikash here. I'm back with a different problem today. So this is one of the important problem asked in Google interviews. So let's go over the problem first. The problem name is find first and last position of an element in sorted array. Okay, it's an lead code medium problem. So given an array of integers, nums, sorted in ascending order, find the starting and ending position of a given target value. Okay, basically you have been given an array and a target. So you need to find what's the first position this target occurs in this array and then what's the last position this target occurs in this array. So if at all the target is not available, if it is not present in the given array, then you need to return minus one and minus one. So basically this is nothing but a search problem. So you have to search for the target in the given array. So we can solve this problem in two methods, okay? So one is the brute force method and the second one is the efficient method. So the brute force method is nothing but for, for the first time you traverse the array from left to right okay and try to find the target so as soon as you find the target that becomes the first position of the target then you need to traverse the same array again from last to first okay this time you're traversing from right to left so whenever you find that target that becomes the last position so you break the loop and return the result let's uh, quickly code for that okay so we need a variable first initially minus one Then we need something called as a result. Then we need two for loops, right? So we are traversing from left to right and if you find the target, that becomes our first position. First is equal to i and we break the loop. So now after this we already have the first position. So now we need to repeat the loop from right to left to find the last position. Into nums dot size minus one. And this will be the loop until it is greater than or equal to zero and we decrement. If it is there, then last becomes i and break. After this we store the result. And return okay so we found the first and we found the last position we save the result in the result vector and return let's run the code so it works fine let's submit and see if it works fine so it does work fine okay in this case time complexity is o of n okay so now let's see the second method in the second method we shall use binary search okay so we'll be running the binary search twice. So for the first time, we'll run the binary search with this condition and find the first index. So before running the second time, before running the binary search second time, we're gonna check if the first index value is the target. So if it is not the target, then it means we, we don't have the target in the given input. So at that time, we, go, we just return minus one and minus one, okay? So if we have the first index as the target, then only we repeat the binary search and try to find the last position. So once we find the last position, we return the result, okay? So let's start writing the code for binary search solution. So we need the first variable, last variable, and the result. So we need the first variable, last variable, and the result, and we need something called as low, which is equal to zero initially, and we need a variable called as high, which will be nums.size minus one, okay? Then we start our first binary search, which is low less than high. We take mid is equal to low plus high minus low by two. Okay. We need to check if nums of low, nums of mid, if it is less than our target. So what does that mean? So we have this array and we our mid is pointing here and but our target is something here so we know there might be an element after in, in so we know that there might be an element between the mid and the target so we assign our low is equal to mid plus one in the else case we just assign the high to mid so 
so at the end of the first binary search we'll have the first index the first position in lower index okay so before starting the second binary search as i said we need to check if the first position has the value as target or not so we first do the boundary check and we check if nums of low is equal to target if it is equal then only we gonna do the second binary search okay so in this case we just add one here and then in this case we check if the nums of mate if it is greater than the target so in that case we assign high is equal to mate minus one and low is equal to mate so after this we know that the last index will be stored in high so now we have found the first index and the last index so we need to store the results in our vector and return the result so in case this condition in in case the lower index value was not target then we need to return minus 1 right we just copy paste this and do minus 1 this is minus 1 as well let's correct the indentation okay let's uh, submit the code okay so this works fine so yeah so so the time complexity for this solution is o of log n and whereas for the previous one it was o of n so these are the two ways to solve this problem so by using the first one using the linear search and second one using the binary search and um, so this is one of the important question asked in the google interview as i said before so do solve it by yourself and let me know if you have any inputs or uh, concerns regarding this solution and if you guys want to connect with me please um, do connect with me via instagram i'll put the link in the description below and keep learning every day do like share and subscribe and until next time bye bye